Holy cow, your radio's broken, you're out in the field, you're enjoying this beautiful view and something's wrong. What can you do? Well, you know what? I ordered something from TeamU and it was this guy here, the scope. Now I got my full bench from home out in the field and I could troubleshoot my power supply and all that kind of stuff with that. Hey, stay tuned. I'm going to show you a little bit of the features and why I have one. All right. Hey, new TeamU users. Download the TeamU app and search code in the search bar DZN3336 to get up to 90% off and also 100 bucks as a coupon bundle. Yeah, check it out in the description below and to claim your benefits. Former type antenna system, thanks to Greg. Greg, this is your uh, kind of your uh, your baby and this is my proto, uh, this is my spinoff on it. Directional tape measure radios and it's all in this nice little case here this is the ultimate gold box you guys and then with this from team you this is going to be a saver when you're on the field if you want to measure any problems you're having it's from your coax to anything this is going to save the day and, uh, for you guys who don't know me i'm mr muds uh victor alpha 5 mike uniform delta today I'm at one of my favorite spots here. It's a Poda Park here in Lac Orange Provincial Park, uh, Northern Saskatchewan. And it is right before it's gonna freeze over. Now look at this beauty here. Uh, the sun's just starting to come up. And uh, you're probably familiar with this, uh, this spot here. This is actually right behind my folks place here. Out their backyard, this is what we have. And it is beautiful. Uh, you can watch another video of mine where I'm in the winter here. This is where the actual rock that I was sitting on in the snow. Um, it is going to be ice here in a couple weeks, most likely, and uh, it's going to be you'll be able to drive on this sucker. But anyway, this is this is the site of a, of a polta site, and uh, I have my radio and everything set up. But I want to share with you just a, one of the newest tools that I have in my arsenal of POTA stuff, uh, portable radio off-grid equipment. And um, the fine folks at TeamU uh, are sponsoring this video and they gave me this oscilloscope. Let's see it, right? And I've been playing with this sucker for a while here. And it is, it's actually, it's, it's a game changer in your portable operation, you guys. Um, when can you actually have a scope out in the field and why would you want it? And that's what I'm going to share with you today. We're going to go into this. We're uh, with a scope uh, or with a normal uh, multimeter, you can measure your voltage and uh, your resistance and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's it's going here. We got our we got our meter here. We could we could go around and we could check different stuff. Uh, all that all the, all the basic stuff that. Yeah, uh, we got current with a multimeter, but we're looking at doing a scope here, and I got to figure it out still because there's a lot of buttons to push. Right there's our scope. So, why a scope? Are you asking? Okay, well, first off, you need the tools to fix if something's broken out in the field. Now we're 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 out here. It's beautiful, right? I I, I want to play radio, and what if something's broken, and you need to troubleshoot it? This is going to give you everything in your in your lab in your ham shack portable. It, it the first thing you say, well, team you. What's team use quality? Well, you know what? You're not paying a whole lot for this scope. This scope is between a hundred and two hundred dollars. A lot less than a two thousand dollar scope or something you have on your bench. Is it as good as the scope? that you would pay for two thousand? No, you get what you pay for, right? But you're going to get something that's going to give you some sort an idea of what's happening out here. Um, I use this thing to check for uh, voltage ripple, uh, DC ripple. What DC ripple is, basically you got your power supply that has a little bit of, um, I guess it's not clean, and the voltage is supposed to be, let's say 14 volts, and it goes above and below. You, you're gonna be able to measure that, what your power supply, what your inverter, converter, whatever you wanna call it, is doing out in the field. Um, you could use this at home, I'm using this, uh, testing it out in the beautiful Saskatchewan northern landscape here. But you want something out there that's going to do it. So this thing here, uh, I'm going to make a video on complete usage of this tool. You can measure your voltage. Uh, you can do it if you're in um, 
in your in your shack you could check out and find out if you have any ac ripple now ac ripple is an ac waveform going into the dc okay so to keep it very simple there's a lot of videos on it and it gets very complicated so for the average person you don't want that ac ripple in your dc power supply that ac ripple is going to cause noise on your scope now listen to this there's no noise here isn't that cool Nothing down there. There you go. Oh. Victor Alpha 5. Mike Uniform Delta. Oh, someone's right on top of him. The Victor Alpha 5. Light Uniform Delta. Hey, thanks for watching the video on the scope. You know, it's been very good uh, out in the field. A lot of stuff you could do with this with testing your equipment and stuff like that. So I want to show you something else that I also picked up from TeamU. And now it is making my little HT here a little bit better out in the field. Now this, uh, this antenna is pretty long, right? But as everyone knows, when you're using UHF, VHF radios, height is your friend and it's really hard to drive with this thing sticking out of the sunroof and stuff so what i did is off team i've ordered uh, one of these nice little mounts um it's going to be go right on the work truck behind me over here it is a little screw on mount that goes on the lip we're going to mount this on the door it's going to put my antenna outside of the truck now i also park inside and height is kind of limited for me or else i'm going to hit the antenna and break it off so on top of that i'm going to couple this little tiny stub which is almost like a loading coil. I mean, there's not much to it, right? But I just want to get that little extra outside of the vehicle so I could use my radio, um, you know, when I'm going in and out of the garage. I'm not going to worry about an antenna. And it gives me that little bit of length. This really thin cable is going to be key because I'm going to pass it through inside the door. So stay tuned. Let's get going. I'll show you the install. All right. So here we are with my 2024 F-150. Um, the problem with this is it's an aluminum body and my mag mount doesn't stick. I usually use a mag mount and put my antenna on and this is also a lease vehicle, company vehicle, so I can't drill any holes. What is the solution? Well, we're going to be using this right here. Uh, here's the links below to get one for yourself. Very affordable antenna options for you where you don't want to be drilling or putting anything permanent. So the mount's pretty straightforward. It comes with a lot of coax. Very nice because the coax is thin. It's going to be able to pass through the doorway without too much trouble. It comes with a little metal strip for uh, protecting your paint. And it also comes with the two Allen wrenches needed for it. All right, so we've got the nice little screws. Really helps with installing this. And this is a pretty solid mount. There's four of them on here. So let's get them, uh, let's get them fixed here. All right, now I've got the screws all spaced apart. Let's open the door here. See how it slips on. Again, there is protectant on there, so let's see if the door shuts. Yes. Get behind the door gasket here, and we'll get these screws tightened up. All right, we got the other screw, and we're going to get this thing. 
Horizontal, where's that hole? There we go. Straight up and down. Hang it down. Okay. Now we have this product. This is the little stubby guy, UHF, VHF. Not the best antenna in the world, but it's gonna work for the height. Exactly what we need. The link is down below there for you to order it. Now, the end is this end right over here, 256. We're gonna use one of these adapters that I picked up. Now I picked up a whole package, very cheap. This was under $10 for all these ends. Uh, with uh, the 256 and um, the SMA connectors. Uh, lots of different options to have. I also picked up these as in case I needed them. Today, I'm gonna be using this one with the male SMA because I got my HD here. I'm gonna take off this antenna and it's gonna screw right into there, just like that. Now you gotta be careful, these are very small and you don't want to break them. So put them on there, put this one on first, then this guy here. And it's as simple as, as that. We lace the cable through the doorway. This sits in the cup holder. You got yourself an external antenna. Hey, thanks to TeamU, very affordable way of putting the antenna on the outside of your vehicle without any drilling.